guys can see my hair is longer again. I told you I was going to put some more extensions in my hair again. I do not have a sew-in again because that takes a long time to do to yourself. Um, but I have clip-ins again because I'm like obsessed with clip-ins. I love clip-ins. like instant gratification. I'm going to be talking about a particular set of clip-ins. You've never seen these in my head before. And these are by the company called Better Lengths. And they were sent to me for a review. Now, although they were sent to me, that's not going to change my opinion on them. Because you guys know I've done, I've done hair extension um, reviews. I've done hair product reviews. And I always give my 100% honest opinion. You know, I had to put that out there. As you can see, what you see here is all extensions. There's no hair mixed in, except for right here. There's no hair mixed in. All my hair is hidden. And I know you're like, how do you hide your hair? I corn roll it and then I clip the clip-ins to the, the top part of the corn roll. Not put the clips through the corn roll, but right at your scalp. You don't want your hair rubbing all on your clothes. And um, also, this is another great thing. When you are tired at night and you want to hear them go to sleep, they are so easy to pop out when your real hair is not dangling in between. Because you have to detangle your, your clip-ins first and then take them out. Um, and also it's so easy to put them back in the next day. I put them in so quickly. In this video I'll show you how I put one clip in just to show you how it looks and then I just put the rest on off camera. But I don't sleep in them. I don't sleep in clip-ins. And a lot of people say why is because when you're sleeping it pulls on your hair. Um, so you want to just make sure that you, you have hair at the end of this. So let's get into it. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go through this part pretty quickly. I want to start off by showing you the box. This is like awesome packaging. Look at this cute little box and this little pink little bow. Um, well, I open it up and this is what you're going to have inside. Your hair in this nice plastic wrap. Under that um, comes with the two extra clips. And then they added in like a little note for me. It was so cute. And then um, you will have like your bill, your statement. And here we go. I took the hair off the plastic and immediately I noticed the hair was very soft and very thick. And also I took a look at what it would look like if I put it in a ponytail and see how thick that was. So now I'm just going to cut off the little gold strings that come on there, or the gold elastics. And this is just one clip. And see how thick it is? Look at that. And it has two wefts on it. One and two, just like that. And that's what's making it so thick. And here's a little close-up texture shot. And I believe you're going to get four tracks that have two clips on them. I think you're going to get two tracks that have three clips on them. And then one big track that has four clips on them. And for extra security, you can take one of those extra clips and put it on one of the two clip ones. Now this is my braiding pattern. So this is what my hair looks like under the clip ends. And that little tail right there, I just lay that down and clip on top of it. So I'm just going to take my first track, brush it out, comb it out, and then I'm going to clip it on the bottom. As you can see, it's not going through the braid. It's going on top. And see how strong it is? That ain't going nowhere. Oh yeah. Now I'm all done. Just tie my hair to the side like that. And as you can see, my bangs are blending in so well. And this is the back. And there's my bangs. See, all of that in the front is mine. And then the rest are the clip-ins. Oh yeah. Now it comes in two textures. It comes in light yakky and it comes in coarse yakky. And I have the light yakky because on the website it says that it mimics relaxed hair. And I have relaxed slash text slash hair. Text lax hair and then the coarse yakky is for those who are natural and you choose or you chose to flat iron like blow dry and flat iron your hair so it'll match your hair a little better so if you have african-american texture hair you're actually going to enjoy these clippings because they match your hair so well like it matches my hair very well like all this is in the front is mine all of that in the front is mine and you know it's like wow and I love the 1B about it because I've seen some 1Bs that look brown and I've seen some 1Bs that look black. And this 1B looks like dark brown slash black in like inside light. But when you go outside, it has a tint of brown. Like, I don't know if you guys could see the light shining on my head. And you see how this looks brown? Like, this is my natural hair up here. Like that, the extensions look just like that. See if I could do it. Bam! 
Love it. Can't get enough of it. The length that I have, let me step back. Now when I step back, it's going to get kind of blurry, but the length that I have is 16 inches. It comes in 14, 16, 18, 20. And when I had my sew-in, I had 20, no, I had 18. And that was kind of long for me, so I didn't want something too long. So it stops right before the boobs, you know. Get closer because I know I was all out of focus right there. And it comes with seven clips. And you actually don't even need all seven clips. Like, I used six. I could have got away with just using five, but I was trying to be greedy. And I was trying to put them all in my head. And then I was like, wait, this is too much. So I took one out. And so I have more on this side because, you know, my... My soup is right here and then this one would have went on this side but it was just it was just too much hair but I love how they are thick like look thick and they have two wefts on them so that's what's making them so thick like look at this can you see me it's like dang I've never come in in contact with like clip-ins that were already made because I make my own clip-ins but so I can make them as thin or as thick as I want but I have yet to come in contact until now with clip-ins that you can't see through. I know you guys are going to want to know the pros and the cons. So the pros to this is that they are so thick. That's the first thing I noticed because I knew they were going to match my hair because if you have relaxed hair pretty much yakky is going to match your hair, um, your hair texture. So I knew that was going to happen. So I didn't want to throw that as the first um, pro but the thickness is what got me. And then these clips are nice and sturdy and um, my little mama my foster daughter she tested that out because the minute I picked her up because she didn't see me when I was clipping them in and I, I said hi and she looked at me like where you get all that hair from she gave me this weird look so we went out and I picked her up and I went like this I put this I forgot to pull this hair back like this because I tied this side up because I carry her on my right side and I forgot to throw this hair back like this so the hair was like right here the minute I picked her up immediately her little tiny hands went just like this I was like let it go she's still like no nope. I'm carrying her I said please let it go so I'm like trying to get her hands out and she's pulling at the same time I'm like ooh, these things are strong holla so um if you got kids and they like to pull on your hair these are not gonna fall out and then also when you do the corn roll method your corn roll is reinforcing that's another good thing about corn rolling your hair when you put your little clip-ins in because it don't fall out um, the corn roll is like a barrier, like a roadblock, so they don't slide out. Even if the clip itself gets loose, it's not going to fall out because the corn roll is there. <laughs> so, that's the con. I mean, not the cons, that's the pros right there. Uh, the con, the only con that I have, which you kind of get this with any hair, is the smell. It smells like weave. It smells like a baby doll. That's what it smells like. But you can easily get rid of that by washing it. Um, I didn't wash it because I wanted to see the original texture, but I will be washing it and then putting it back in to see the life after a wash. But um, this one right here is the one I have, I did not put in my hair. Well, I did put it in my hair and I took it out. But this one did not see any hair products. This one I sprayed heat protectant and I sprayed some of my, like, um, put some of my Simplicity oil on it. And the smell is not there anymore. So you can cover it with products, but when you first take out the package, you're going to have that baby doll weave smell. That's the only thing. That goes away. That's the only con that I have. But I know this review was all over the place because as you guys know, I can only do videos early in the morning before I got to leave the house because little mama don't let me do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I did my makeup, I do my makeup pretty much the same in every every time I put makeup on, I do my makeup the same way. But I'm going to have a get ready with me like right after this video. So subscribe for more. And I know you guys are going to be like, well, why don't you curl it? I want to see if it holds a curl. I can't show you everything in one video. You gotta subscribe so that you're notified when I do another video. Hmm. Holla. Meow. See you guys next time. Bye.